Hello, welcome to DIY Tech Guy. Today I'm going to show you how to control a 12 volt solenoid through an Arduino using a transistor as a switch. A solenoid requires a larger voltage than the Arduino can supply, so we need to use the 5 volt pin from the Arduino to switch the higher power on and off. The techniques described in this video would apply to any project where you need to switch on and off higher DC voltage devices such as motors, solenoids, LED light strips, etc. The parts we'll need for this project are the following. We'll need a solenoid, which is an electromagnetic coil that pulls a metal rod into the coil. These are used everywhere from pinball machines, water and air valves, and locking mechanisms. We'll need a transistor to act as our electronic switch since the Arduino cannot provide 12 volts of power through its pins. The transistor will allow us to switch the solenoid on and off using just a 5 volt signal from the Arduino. A 1K resistor is required to attach the Arduino pin to the transistor. We're using an IN4001 diode to prevent an electronic spike caused by the solenoid from going back into the electronics of the Arduino. We'll also need six jumper wires. And finally, we'll need an Arduino Uno and a breadboard. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our hardware for this project. Uh, like always, the first thing we're going to do is connect those power rails. So we're going to connect our 5 volts to our positive rail. And we'll take our ground. Oops. 5 volts to the positive rail. And our ground to our negative rail. It's a little sticky. Here's a solenoid we're going to be using. This is a 12 volt solenoid. It pulls about almost an amp. Uh, so this is obviously something we can't run through the Arduino. So we're going to use a transistor to switch uh, the negative side of that, of that uh, solenoid. So let's start off by putting our transistor in there across three separate columns there. Now what we're going to want to do, we're going to take this back leg, the one all the way on the right, and we're going to bring that to ground. Because that is the piece that we're going to be switching. So that'll go to ground. We're going to need a diode because when this thing swings back, it creates a magnetic pulse that could uh, uh, blow out the Arduino and make it reset or even worse even fry the chips. So every time that thing re releases because uh, This there is an electromagnet in here. It acts almost like an electric generator and creates a pulse that can go back through your electrical system in your Arduino. So we put a um, A diode this is an IN uh, 4001 across the two leads on the solenoid. So we'll go ahead and stick this in place here Get this right here. Now, the stripe on the diode will always be facing the positive side of your device. So, this piece that's getting switched here, I'm going to connect to the middle pin and go to the negative side of the diode. And for the positive pin, we have a 1K resistor that we're going to bridge that little gap. And then from there, we're going to bring that to our control pin for the that we're going to use to switch this transistor. And we're going to use pin number 7. So when pin number seven is high, it's gonna close that switch and bring this solenoid to ground so that it is uh, that it is powered. So now we can hook up our solenoid 
Oh wait, no we don't. We need our, our, our power end of this. And this is kind of interesting. This is a 12 volt power supply and the Arduino does not provide 12 volts. But if we use a 12 volt power supply that has enough amperage to run the solenoid, we can plug that into our Arduino. Now our Arduino will automatically bring that down to five volts for the Arduino. But there's sort of a neat trick in here. There is a pin called VIN and that's voltage in. And voltage in is usually used if you're um, bypassing uh, the barrel jack. And you'd see this mainly on a, uh, like an Arduino Nano, which does not have a barrel jack. You always power your device through the VIN and you could uh, put in, um, I think up to 12 volts. It might be up to 24, I'm not sure. But if you do power it from here, which we're gonna do, it also translates that to over here. So it's almost as if we're tapping into that original line, which is what you would normally do to split the voltages. So I can tap into VIN and bring that over here. And I'm bringing power directly to that, to that set of pins there. And that's 12 volts uh, directly from the power source. And it's separate from the Arduino power because uh, it's prior to getting stepped down into five volts. Mm -hmm. We have our two rows of holes here. One is the positive 12 volt, which we want to put our red wire onto. And we'll stick that into there. And then the other is on our ground. And this is the switched ground that will be controlled by transistor. Let's see if I can get it in there. And there you have it, that's all that's required. Now when pin seven is brought to high, the, the transistor will connect these two pins, which will allow the solenoid to retract. When the pin is turned low, power will be cut off and it, it'll open up again. So we'll be able to control this using the Arduino. And the diode here is gonna protect our device from that electromagnetic pulse that's gonna come from the electrical generation from this magnet being pulled across those coils, or that piece of metal being pulled across those coils. Here's one final look at our completed hardware build. All we have to do now is to add the code to the Arduino and test it out. Let's go ahead and enter the code for this project. The code is rather simple as there isn't much going on here. We are simply controlling the transistor through digital pin 7 and we didn't add any inputs to this particular project. First, we need to declare pin 7 as a global variable called solenoid pin. We need to set solenoid pin as an output with this line of code in our setup routine. For our main void loop, we must first turn the pin high to switch the transistor into a closed switch position. This will activate the solenoid magnet, causing it to pull the rod into the magnetized coil. We will hold it there for two seconds using this delay statement. Once the delay has completed, we will write the pin to low to turn the solenoid into an open switch state, thus releasing the rod from the magnetized coil. We'll delay for another two seconds and repeat the process indefinitely. Click the upload button. Oh, forgot to plug it in. Go. Let's try that again. It's uploading and it's done. All right, it's uploaded to our board. Let's try this out. We can't run it from this uh, cord because this only provides five volts, but once we plug this into our 12 volt wall work, uh, we should start seeing this thing start to uh, open and close. It looks like everything is working as designed. The solenoid is alternating between on and off every two seconds. This project gives us some great examples of how to handle devices that require more power than the Arduino can provide. We accomplished this by using a transistor to switch the higher power. This design only works on DC power, so this wouldn't work with any standard appliances such as a 120 watt light bulb. Switching AC power is very similar, except it uses a relay instead of a transistor. Be sure to check out our video on relays, which provide the ability to switch AC power. 
Thanks for watching my video. Please consider subscribing or clicking the bell icon to be notified of future videos.